morning, Mr. Rudnicki, Athletic Director of St. Michael High School. Good morning, Dr. Brick. Good morning. Good morning. So we're doing this Giving Day for the first time in our school's history. Excellent. And, uh, you know, uh, everything that we do, faith is at the center of, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's in mass, but also on the athletic field. Right? We believe, no question. We believe that athletics teaches virtue. So can you talk a little bit about how athletics fits into the, uh, the curriculum of St. Michael? We, we place, I, I think we do a great job of placing athletics in their proper perspective. Right. And that this right. is the means to an end. It is not an end in itself. This right. is a means of, of growth and, and learning to, to develop virtue that are going to help us in life right. serving God. As far as What's going to matter going forward is how this impacted your, your character, your That's virtue right. development. Um, how did it make you um, a, a more able servant of God? How did it make you... Um, That's right. How um, how has this impacted you? There's so many things you can learn through athletics that we teach here in right. right. our programs. Uh, you know, perseverance, uh, dealing with adversity, uh, teamwork, working with others. We talk about a culture of excellence around here, and we really are kind of developing that. But obviously, it takes resources, it takes uh, personnel uh, to to run a good athletic department. So, what could you say to folks who are thinking about maybe supporting the school? Like, can you talk to them about how we're going to use those resources in a way to really uh, promote a, a kind of athletic department that's consistent with Catholic values. Yeah, well, some of you know what I just said, putting athletics in its proper place, yep. to the, virtue yep. development, um, a culture of excellence. We, we are giving our best effort. We leave the results to the Lord, but we give our best effort in right. everything that we do right. to continue to build what we've done with right. the athletic program. Obviously, we need more students. <laughs> I mean, there's no question. There, there are limits to what you can offer right. without having sufficient. It's a very, it's a chicken and egg. It's a total chicken and egg. That's right. And so I think for the size that we're at currently, we're we have a fantastic right. uh, athletic department. I'm very very happy with how this has gone the last few years. Exactly. But to to build it and to sustain it and and build it and and make it even better. I mean, we need um, we need vehicles to right. transport uh, kids to right. pra uh, practices and games. We need access to facilities. Right. Um, whether that means and we might need our own facility. We definitely need our we own need, facility. We need a gymnasium. No, we saw that during the COVID crisis. That's we right. were we were um, at the mercy of uh, other our facilities. Right. You know, together we can we can make this better. Uh, right. It's already off to a great start, but it can be better. We've already we already have kids um, getting athletic scholarships. That's right. To um, you know, helping them pay for college. I mean, what a blessing. That's that's not why. Uh, yeah, and, and we and, do and, this, but but what, right. what a great what, what a great fruits it's produced. That's right, and not only scholarships, but I'm pretty sure that you get into a lot of these good schools that they're getting into because they're seeing that it's a well-rounded kid, mind, body, and soul. And 